everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about the top three stocks once again that you should keep on your watch list the market is currently tanking which makes sense like yesterday i was a little bit worried i was like mm, it's up right now should we be worried what's gonna happen tomorrow but this this is like what, what was supposed to happen like this is what i envisioned to happen all right and um, I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for this video. I'll drop those in the comment section of last night's video. Don't forget to annihilate the like button on your way in. And also don't forget to click on that subscribe button along with that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on these videos. Let's, let's get started. Right off the bat, the sell-off continues. All right. This is classical. This is what is... This is definitely what I thought would happen, especially with this like um, bearish um, pattern on Friday right here, which we definitely like caught that break down. Let me show you. We got the spy and then there you go. Yeah. So we're just tracking the spy on Friday, tracking the spy on Friday. We got the breakdown over here and then this is where everything went like down and down and down all right and i think i think this is it's not over yet i told y'all on friday before the futures market opened that i expect the spy to fall to to exactly this level like exactly right there but it looks like it wants to go lower towards 4300 and honestly i think it will i think it will get there the four hour is not looking strong at all all not looking strong at all we're gonna look at the nasdaq also since we're talking about every financial market i drew this line yesterday yeah see like everything that i drew came to pass a lot earlier which is nice uh which is which is very very nice it didn't pump here and then drop it didn't do this and then drop it just tanked like immediately the way like the way we the way actually we wanted to so because we got puts um i think it's gonna go lower i think i think it's going to go lower 1350 or 13,500 is around the corner so uh yeah that's 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 my thoughts on the overall market we're staying bearish all right it's going to take a while and it's going to be tough especially for those of people who don't like to short um, just again in, the, in these market conditions it's very important to adapt and the pain is not over yet so let's talk about the first stock the first stock that we're going to talk about today that stock is NEO all right and we're gonna talk about NEO because of this for those of y'all who watch, I believe I released this thing on Friday night. Yeah, I told y'all to watch Neo for a drop all the way down to around like $23. We definitely have puts on Neo. We definitely do. We caught this thing when it was right here on the 21st, along with SE, by the way. And all of this was... 11 like this was at noon this one again was at noon and then also tesla was at noon yeah so i think i definitely think that this thing is gonna go lower it's going to go all the way down to 24 to 23 dollars at least this is not it's not a good look at all like it may have a little bit of the bump which is another entry for like people who are day traders who didn't want to swing anything over the weekend right like it could provide a nice like a little pump fake and then the collapse in the afternoon to 23 dollars to make some money on this one and the next one that y'all should keep on your watches for today that one is obviously obviously tesla because i literally just showed you this thing um tesla also some people got puts on there i think it's going to drop again i told y'all yesterday that we go low I explained to y'all, well, maybe not yesterday, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday's video, I explained to y'all why this thing should go low. And they dropped, all right? Again, it's supposed to happen. This is what was, that, that's why I was really, really worried when the futures were green yesterday. Hmm. But now, now things make sense. It's going to drop again. I think today it goes down to like 864 before it chills out. 
Yeah, I think I think maybe 850 even. I think it drops to 850. So definitely watch Tesla for that drop. Um, long term, maybe not so long term. Until earnings, I think we're just gonna stay in this box. Let me just get rid of that. I think we're just gonna stay in this area right here between one between 850 and 875 all the way until earnings and then earnings is going to decide the fates of tesla all right keep in mind of the market conditions as a whole for those of you who like to gamble through earnings i right, just keep that in mind now the last stock that y'all should keep on your watch list for today that one is obviously um, SE because I just showed y'all this one again uh, this is another one um, I think it's going to collapse all the way down to at least at least 130 bucks all right the little scheme right there that I drew again the market was green Either way, I was bearish, but this is this is much better than this drawn right there. This is much much better. I think it's going to tank also, all the way down. The pattern is there. I explained this one yesterday to y'all. I explained it. Even though we were very very oversold, it still has room to the downside, and there are some gaps to fill below at like 130. So keep this one on your watch list as well all right now let's talk about you guys stocks of interest somebody asked if dollar tree could still go down let's look at dollar tree really quickly okay so dollar tree right now this this right here is aggravating for a lot of shorts i'm not gonna lie this this is very very aggravating the market is down by a lot why isn't this down to like 122 why didn't they drop to 125 it might just do that in the first five minutes i'm not gonna lie like dollar tree has the tendency to do these ridiculous things um we got neo puts this this is very aggravating like super super aggravating i think it's still gonna collapse i think um it should collapse the the head and shoulders is there let me go on to the weekly and the gap is present on the daily and the weekly. The same gap right here. It has to fall. Like it needs to collapse. I think it's going to collapse. My th my thoughts and opinions on Dollar Tree is not changing. Um, still watch this one for a drop to what to one hundred and fifteen dollars. Um, the last stock that we're going to talk about today is let me see. The last stock that we're going to talk about today is ABBV. All right. And ABBV, ABBV had its run, but this is the moment where I tell y'all that it's extremely, extremely tired. Um, it's down by, it's down by a whole dollar. Let me go on to the daily, actually the four hour is better. Yeah, it's down by a whole dollar and it's going to go down even more. Um, it, I sh I've been sharing this one with y'all since like this bullish pattern right here. Congrats to anybody who made money on the way up over here. The stock was really, really slow, like very slow. And then it just consolidated. And now this is the part where we drop all the way down to previous support at like $126. So definitely watch this one as well for today. All right. And that is the end of the video. Do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always helps the channel tremendously and allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on the pre-market analysis videos which are released from monday to friday at exactly 8 20 a.m central time and the post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon like usually before 10 p.m central time for those videos usually right if you'd like to be part of a private discord community that way you can get this information in real time as i see them they can find that as the first link in the description of the video below if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul guma at Better knowledge lab on instagram and on twitter and facebook as well facebook and lastly if all of this is brand new to you 
If you're not scared of the volatility, not scared of all the FUD, then you would like to get started. I left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below to get everything that you need to get started in the stock market, all right? You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after signing up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma. We're at Analogy Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I'll see all of you in the next video.